Hey guys, welcome back to the Art House. Bleep, beep, beep, Art House. We actually did it. This is all about the money, Mike. Coming at you with a special reveal. And what is that? Some of my critics? All about the money, Mike. All about the money. Doesn't care about sorcery. Pretends to care about art, right? All right, let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Collector Art House website, www.collectorarthouse.com. I wanted to... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go to the discords. Let's go right to the source. We have discovered the first curio from beta, right? And the company has asked that we don't perpetuate the new Frazetta artworks, the new artworks coming into beta. Curios, I think, are a special category. Um, I believe their intent was they have some plans to reveal... <sighs> what is Discord down? Anyway, they have some plans to reveal these new artworks for beta, I believe. And what happened was some people got early product from a few sources and they started to open boxes and they're making discoveries of the new Frazetta artwork. But Curios is something that the company does not speak on, right? So officially, you could argue, maybe this is a Curio, maybe it's not. But if you go to the Sorcery Contested Realm Community Facebook group, we're gonna have to go there because Discord, yeah, Discord's kind of funky. It's acting hit or miss. But if we go to the Sorcerer Contested Realm Community Facebook group, I posted here something that was shared in the Collector Art House Discord yesterday. And here you have it, the first Curio Discovery. <laughs> we got some memes here on the side. The first Curio Discovery, the Elemental Avatar of Earth by Severin Pinu. And it's a sketch card, much like Eric's Curiosa. Curio was an alpha, and here you have the sketch card of the beautiful elemental avatar. So what I hope we're going to find is all four avatars. So I wrote an article here. Actually, let's go to the sorcery behind the art page on collectorarthouse.com. And if you scroll down, I have a, a bunch of stories here with um, insights from the artists telling the story of the concepts behind a lot of their artworks. And I have this one about the four elemental avatars. All right, so very early on, I think this was written in early 2022, I went through the origin of these elemental avatars. Nice article here. I'm not going to cover it in its entirety. But what I wanted to show here is these four sketch avatars, right? And here's the new Curio Discovery, the elemental avatar of Earth. And again, there's four. There's four elemental avatars. They were um, advertised as exclusive to... Alpha, and in a way they were. They were exclusive as non-foils in the pre-cons and then foils in the booster boxes, but here we have them now as curios, um, I guess, uh, unconfirmed by the company in beta, right? And the really cool thing about this is the four of them makes this beautiful um, intertwined design where you could see the lines between the sketches interconnect. And Severin's point and um, concept idea here was that these maidens, as she called them, were interconnected like a mother and her daughters, right? And I think she said the elemental um, avatar of Earth is the mother, and then these are the three daughters, right? Different ages. And it's just a beautiful concept. We actually collaborated recently on a art print concept. I'll show you that really here, guys, uh, really quick here, guys. If you go to SCR, where did I put this? On the SCR art market, I have a post with that. There's the new Pudge Butcher. And here you go, beautiful concept where we did. This started off as a sketch idea. And actually, let me go to the community page again. And I actually did a feature post about this where I talked about how I worked with Severin to initially do a sketch concept, merging those avatars. This was before the Curio discovery, so it's amazing timing, it's super exciting. But we started with this sketch concept, right? So she, this is actually completely redone, redone by hand, a sketch by Severin. And then we had the Ouroboros as kind of like a symbol of unity and the light coming off of these, this eclipse stone that kind of illuminates um, the four maidens and brings them together as one joint entity. So that was the initial concept. She worked through some ideas. We decided maybe we add a little splash of color to spice it up a little bit. So this is kind of the evolution. This is the final piece that she sent me. Um, very feel very honored to own this. It's very special to me. And then finally, this was the final rendition that we that we ultimately did. So there was 10 embellished prints, and then we're going to do a series of 100 of these prints. I think about five of them have sold so far out of the first 10 of the regular prints. But a beautiful eclipse design, the Philosopher's Stone, and the four elemental avatars, the most iconic pieces by Severin in the Alpha set. All right, so going back, check out that article, Sorcery Behind the Art. But what I want to point you to is the Interviews and Articles page. Um, and then there was an article I did. Oh, come on now. 
Is everything down today? Maybe my internet's spotty. Here we go. I think it'll load in a minute. So there's an article that I did about curios and maybe it's not going to cooperate with me, but I posted it here on the Facebook page while we wait for that to hopefully load. Let me tell you another story about another article I did or an interview I did with uh, Brian Smith. This was back in March, 2022. And we showed the original painting. This is a image or scan of the original painting that Brian did for devil's eggs. And of course, when you look at the card on the website, let's see if the card page works. Going to Brian Smith, see if we get lucky. Yes, okay. So the devil's egg, it was kind of zoomed in here, right? And the, the shadow figure to the left was a little more faint. And then the eyes of this uh, demon or whatever this is in the upper right-hand corner was a little different on this final piece that went onto the alpha card. In the original artwork, we had two figures here, right? So the alpha card was zoomed in a little bit, but if you take an abstract uh, external zoom of this, you get the original painting, and then one of these eyes was kind of colored in as seen here. Um, so this became a curio card discovery in the set, which was super cool. Here, uh, one of the community members posted, here's the alpha card, and here is the curio card. So it's a little lighter, and this is what I'm talking about with the eye. If you could see my cursor there, there's no eye filled in on the regular alpha card, and there is an eye here in the curio version. So all of that to, is to say, if you go to the alpha art gallery, I think there is likely more curios to be discovered in alpha. So you, the, the only way you can do that, you see, if you look at the full art on the back of the foil cards, you're going to see the newly rendered or sometimes zoomed or f inverted image of the card on the alpha facing side right on the foil side so you need to go look at the actual paintings which is what this page is to catch those nuances and perhaps there are more subtle art variants as curios in alpha and maybe in beta as well but this is a great resource to go and explore that i just did a video on these other pages for arthurian legends and the unconfirmed art that has not been officially declared for future sets yet so there's a lot of great discovery here on the collector Art house website Yes, here we go. So the interviews come up, right? Um, we overcame the glitch. We're going to go to, I don't do much video editing, guys. I just roll with it and improvise. So we're going to go down to this Curio Cards article that I did in May, 5, May 15, 2022. And dreams are coming true. Predicted Curios are becoming reality. Super exciting. So we talked about how Francesca Baral did the sketch card. And that became a curio. And here I speculated that maybe the elemental avatar sketches should be should be curios. And uh, appears that is the case in beta. So what I want to look for now in beta and alert people to is a few other ideas. There were these early sorcery precursor artworks that Eric had commissioned in the early days before he really was all in on sorcery. He was kind of just dabbling with making his alt own alternate arts for his vintage magic decks. And he commissioned Dan Frazier to do these mocks um proxies right so these not proxies like alternate arts right the custom commissioned by dan so these have the potential i believe and these were featured in the booster pack podcast so an early interview one of the first interviews done with eric um, great job by rands over at booster pack podcast network and these have the potential maybe to be curios i believe in beta alternate arts and i did suggest that to eric last year here's a dialogue i had with him about that and he said that um he doesn't have the license to use them so he would have to go work that out and i was like he says suppose i could get the licenses hmm hidden in plain sight right he liked the idea a lot of people liked him liking the idea maybe it could happen you know he usually likes to give hints in plain sight this happened before it's come to fruition a few times and then the other one here is wayne barlow so we had the original or we had the, the Brahm artwork was kind of like the banger, like surprise artist in the Alpha debut. Do we see something similar in beta with Wayne Barlow? So this was another painting, which I speculate Eric commissioned from Wayne because I found it on Wayne's, I think it was on Wayne Barlow's website. And it kind of correlated to the story uh, Eric was telling in Discord back in October 2021. And he says, this is a uber old school look and card design. Why would he put that particular artwork by Wayne Barlow onto a card design in the early days of sorcery development, you know? And then it wasn't used. Did he not have the license? Is he pursuing it? Is it going to be in beta? Let's keep an eye out for this and the Moxes as potential curios in beta. Maybe I'm just a crazy old man, but here it is. Here's the painting. 
Um, I think this could be an awesome prelude to introducing Wayne Barlow to the game. Maybe this shows up in beta as a curio. Maybe he shows up in a future set that has to relate to heaven and hell, angels and demons, something along those lines, which is uh, speculated as a potential future thematic set. All right, and there's a bunch of other cool ideas here going through the history of the game, some nuances, alternate arts that we're aware of, which I featured in my last video. So I just wanted to alert everybody to that. I wanted to point you to the community group, to the Collector Art House Discord, where you can go and learn more about this stuff, see all the things I'm, I'm frantically uh, posting here all day, every day, as it seems, especially these days in the uh, excitement and anticipation leading to the beta release. So exciting times, guys. New Curios, that's going to be the banger. Uh, big deal in beta, as well as the alternate arts or the new arts for the Frazetta cards. So I'm holding off on spoiling those per the company's request. We're going to wait a few days until the official release. Betas or beta Curios, they're going to start leaking out. And we got to keep an eye out. we got to know what to look for. And of course, it could be anything, but we have some ideas here. Go read more about this on the interviews and articles page collectorarthouse.com. Thanks as always for your interest. Let's see you Saturday for the live event with many special guests. Huge, awesome live event, 12 p.m. Eastern. It's like 6 p.m. in Europe. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be exciting. A lot of cameo guests, new faces from last time, some similar ones from last time. Uh, really pumped up. It's going to be a huge week. Talk to you soon. Take care.